It is Eastern Europe. Most people associate the United States with the concept of freedom. It goes hand in hand. It's like the freedom eagle, right? The, the president of America is the leader of the free world. Uh, so it is a little bit baffling when you read in the news that some kids were skiddling along. And the punishment for desecrating one of America's core values, which is the Jeff Bezos, the, the Amazon flag, is up to 10 years in prison. And I am calling it the Jeff Bezos flag because it's not the rainbow flag, which, by the way, that one isn't trademarked. It's free use. Like, the person that made it is free use. No, no, no. Like, this is the corporate flag. It's the America Corporation. It's uh, the corporate power, the corporate dominance of the United States. Uh, and damaging it in any way uh, leads you up to 10 years. So I want you to think about the time when it was 2014. Do you guys remember that? Like, what were you doing that year? Or anything, like, vaguely that reminds you of that time. Because that's how long it takes for 10 years to pass. Like, this is how much those kids are facing. And obviously, uh, they may not actually go to prison for 10 years. But put yourself in their shoes, right? Like, you're skidding along, and you don't expect this level of punishment. Maybe you expect a fine at worst. Uh... But then you have this prosecutor coming along and saying, right, we can take this to court and we got evidence of you doing it and you can get up to 10 years or you can sign a plea deal with me and you get like two or three years. And, and again, like the reason that people are shocked about this, first and foremost, is the nature of the punishment. Like, is this really an action that is so dangerous, so damaging to society that you need to take minors and put them for 10 years in prison. And the thing is, like, you're looking at people from the left, and I can't find a single one saying that maybe the sentence is too much. Like, I'm not even looking for someone that says, hey, you know, like, maybe we shouldn't punish them at all. Because at the end of the day, you know, they're not hurting a person. It's a victimless crime, like the left likes to say. Like, they didn't target an individual or a person. Uh, it's just on the sidewalk, and it's the ideology but no, I'm not even looking for that. Like, I'm not even trying to find the left-leaning person that would say, no, this shouldn't be punished. At this point, I'm just trying to find the left-leaning person that says, well, 10 years maybe is a little bit too much, especially since they were underage. I mean, when I was a teenager, I was doing cheeky little shit as well, you know, like to try to rebel. My parents were really uh, hardcore Christians, and we lived in a Christian community, and I was LARPing as a Satanist. I wasn't actually a Satanist, but I just wanted to shock people because I was a teenager and I wanted to be a cheeky little shit. You know, not a single leftist is saying that. Like, all of them are either ignoring it or they're saying, well, good, that will teach them a lesson. I mean, sure, if you want society to produce hardcore criminals, this is how you do it. Take into account, right, that when you take a person that's not having the inclination to do violent crime and you put them in a prison with all the murderers and the rapists and the drug dealers and, and all of the other unsavory members of society, and you keep them there for 10 years, when they're coming out, do you think they're going to be a model citizen or not? Social contagion is a thing, just so you know, right? So if you think that this is the normal way of handling a society, you're going to get some surprises 10 years down the line. In fact, like most uh, states in the U.S. that are run by Democrats are receiving those surprises. The New York City did deploy the military into the subway, like something that no other country has ever done. It's... But anyway, right, so uh, apparently one of them was 19. I, I mean, this one should have known better than to tread on America's most important symbols. But you also have um, other two people that are minors, right? So uh, what's interesting is that on Wednesday, people who witnessed the teens riding the scooter called 911. The media is silent about it. I remember the Washington Post uh, at the time writing an article called White Collar Crime, and it was about white women calling the cops, right? And it was like, how, how dare you call the cops? Now it's good. Now it's good. Now it's not defund the police. Now it's probably fund the police more. Uh, so we see that you have done this. People don't just go and do that without intention. You don't destroy symbols without intention. I mean, when I was a kid, again, I was doing a lot of stuff just to be edgy. I mean, I used to be a goth kid and I was like, oh, so emo and shit. Uh, I didn't really mean it, by the way. I was listening to music with uh, lyrics that would get you a TOS violation. 
but I didn't really mean it. And I'm pretty sure most teenagers do. I'm pretty sure that Mr. McGee here, when he was a teenager, he must have done something. It's a good thing that his generation was level-headed and didn't think, yeah, you know what, you need to get 10 years in prison. I mean, again, think about it this way. Imagine if the city hall would put crosses everywhere, right? Like, they, they would put, like, various uh, religious iconography, and if you damage them, you get 10 years in prison. Would that be fine? Oh, uh, yeah, right, you know what, separation between church and state. Okay, well, let's have the super straight flag then. Let's put that. And if anyone or their kids damage it, 10 years in prison. Oh, you wouldn't like that. Oh, yeah, I know. Like, oh, hold on. The super straight flag itself is hateful. Oh, I see. So now we get to decide what is hateful and what isn't. Well, you know, it, it, it just so happens that currently the correct people are in power and they're making the correct decisions. It would be such a shame if the power pendulum swings at some point, which is what happens throughout human history. No matter they freak out so much if uh, the Republicans were to win a single election. Because they realize, oh, wow, we created the... Some really nasty tools here. It would be a shame if someone else got their hands on them. By the way, this actually did happen. I remember the panic uh, from the mainstream media when Trump got into office because like all of Obama's uh, oppressive apparatus that he created with the NSA and spying on people and shit. It's like, oh my goodness, now Trump has it. It's like, yeah, yeah. That's what happens. Like, why did you create it? Uh, so anyway, the teens appeared in court and prosecutors required a $15,000 bond to cover the approximate cost. Like, unironically, like, if I were to see this in my community, I, I would do my best in order to move out because it's a danger. I know, I know I'm not going to leave skid marks on it, but what if my kids do? It's very difficult to control kids. Imagine that uh, your kids come home with a police officer and they're like, well, they damaged something sacred. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, holy shit. You know, in my country, you literally can't get into trouble for this. Like, even if you want to, there is absolutely nothing on the sidewalk, on the public road, which you can damage that would land you for 10 years in prison. Like, even if you were to want to do it. Like, if I were to import these kids and be like, okay, do your stuff, they wouldn't be able to. Isn't this like a better society where like, parents don't have to face the fact that, oh my God, the, their kids left skid marks on the sidewalk. It's like, well, that can't be serious. How much do I have to pay? No, 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 listen. They're going to get prison. Jesus, how long? Ten years. Are you say Yes, they are. Uh, so they want $50,000 bond. And other legislation signed by the governor, uh, defacement of public property may fall under the state's hate crime laws. Well, is it that possible that we do not have public property on the sidewalk? Like, can we do that? M must the public property be there, though? Uh, the updated law went to... You, you know what I would do? I, I will tell you what I would do. Uh, paint all of this around the governor's house and, and see how he gets out of it with his car. You can't do that, though, can you? Because uh, it's, it's public property, right? So you don't have the right to paint it over it. Because that's what they're basically saying. They're saying, well, like, yeah, but like this belongs to the state. It's kind of like if you paint it in your private property, and if you did paint it on your private property and someone else damages, that's a hate crime, right? Because like, from what I understand with Americans, like the hate crimes themselves need to be attached to an actual crime. So, so like for instance, in America, you do have freedom of expression, and you can do whatever you want. Like if you buy an LGBT flag yourself... Uh, and you burn it next to an American flag to see what people on Twitter get panicked the most, that's legal. However, if you do it to someone else, that's a hate crime. So th there have been cases actually, yeah, absolutely ridiculous. Like there was this homeless guy which took a flag, and a, also a rainbow flag from a restaurant and wiped his ass with it. And he did it be not, not because he actually... Uh, this parage, the sacred symbol, but it was like he was a homeless person that did this something to wipe his ass with it, and that was handy, right? Again, hate crime. Uh, so, so this is what they're doing. Like, if you if you commit like the smallest crime, you know, like I I don't know, like stealing a flag. Like, how expensive is a flag? Like five dollars, four dollars, right? But but if you committed the crime towards the flag that represents something, then it's a hate crime. Uh, unless you do it to the American flag, which by the way isn't a hate crime. Uh, this is the current culture that I guess like America wants the rest of the world to follow because uh, they, when, whenever they, they go into uh, the Middle East, like for instance with Afghanistan, they're also like imposing their ideology over there and uh, yeah, people didn't really appreciate that. 
well, it's one of the aspects they didn't appreciate it. They didn't appreciate others as well. Uh, but the meme with, like, the drone with the rainbow flag on it, that's drone striking the Middle East, yeah, no, that's... I mean, we saw uh, gaming companies do it now, like Call of Duty had uh, rainbow bullets. That's that's interesting. I mean, it's very, very bizarre, though, but, like, okay. Uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think, and as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.